Find all of the solutions of the equation x to the fourth plus one equals zero and represent the solutions graphically. So the first thing we want to do is solve for x. Let's just think about what we have here. If we solve for x, we get x to the fourth equals negative one. And so x is the fourth root of negative one. So we are actually looking for the fourth roots of negative one. So let's write negative one as a complex number. That's z equal negative one plus zero i. Let's find the modulus and the argument. The modulus r is a squared plus b squared all under a root, which is looks like one. And to find the argument, I do tangent theta is b over a, so that's zero over negative one. And I know that that is sine over cosine. And I know sine is zero and cosine is negative one when theta is pi. So I can rewrite z as one, that's my r, times cosine pi plus i sine pi. Now I want the fourth roots of z. The fourth root of one times cosine pi plus two pi over k, two pi times k over four plus i sine pi plus two pi k over four. I'm sorry, this is z sub k. So when k is zero, I get one cosine. Okay, if I plug a zero in here, it's like I get pi over four plus i sine pi over four. And we know what that is. Cosine of pi over four is negative, I'm sorry, is positive root two over two and sine of pi over four is root two over two. This should say z sub zero. When k is one, I have z sub one and that's one. Cosine, okay, if I put in a one here, I get pi plus two pi, I get three pi over four, plus i sine three pi over four. Okay, so there, sorry, my parentheses all screwed up. So three pi over four is here in quadrant two, so sine is positive, but the cosine will be negative. Negative root two over two plus root two over two i. When k is two, I plug a two in here, I get two times pi. So I have pi plus two times two pi. So that's four pi plus another pi, I get five pi over four plus i sine five pi over four. And now I'm in quadrant three, so both are negative. And when k is three, I plug in three for this k up here. So I get pi plus two pi times three, so that's six pi plus another pi, seven pi. Cosine seven pi over four plus i sine seven pi over four. And I know that's in this quadrant right here, so cosine is positive and the sine is negative. And then it's said to represent graphically, so I'm gonna represent graphically. I remember this is my real axis. This is my imaginary axis. And I know that root two over two is approximately 0.707. Just kind of eyeballing it, one, 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 one. So 0 0.707, 0 0.7, maybe like here. And then I have negative in my here, here, and here. So those are the fourth roots of negative one. And these guys right here, all of these, are the answers to x to the fourth plus one equals zero.